Yes, he did say women. That. We should put them on the wall. Take down that picture, you know what, and put our own women on the wall and honor our own women. And Stronger Productions in association with Big Stone Records and of course the Honorable Racing Matches Reggae City Sports Bar will be giving this wonderful lady the Lifetime Achievement Award for many, many years of services to us Jamaicans. And this is our way of honoring you yeah. next week, Saturday. So you're going to be out with all the press. It's next Saturday, you know, Queen Mother. No, I didn't know that. Yes, the 27th of June. Okay, okay. So okay. you have to start getting there. I know you're going to wear your pretties of uh, dashiki and your this and your that. Okay. And um, we'll arrange for a ride to come and pick you up. Yes. Um, the press is going to be there. All fa uh, faction of the press is going to be here. She came all the way from England. She'll be blasting Diana, she'll be oh, blasting it all across the world, darling. ITV will be there, and a whole lot of people. Oh, and right. I have to say this, Marine Gutsmore from Germany said to tell you that she loves you world without end, she adores you. So say a good hello to Marine from Germany. From Germany, Marine Gutsmore, I love you too. <laughs> Oh, what did you see? You got me to do it. I did it. All right. <laughs> so we look forward to seeing you. I know you're a little bit tired. The president of the UNIA ACL, Mr. Steve Gold. The chair that she sits so gracefully. She's none other than Queen Mother Mariam Yasmin Smart. Thank you. Mother Mariamne Yasmin Samad was born on September 1st in Harlem in 1922. Her mother had to rush from the UNIA convention meeting to the hospital to give birth to her. That means she was born into Marcus Garvey. She's credited with being the inventor of the dashiki fashion. She brought that to Jamaica for those who don't know. She moved to Jamaica over 40 odd years ago and still resides here and she now go nowhere. <laughs> Queen Mother Samad has been given many, many lifetime awards in her long, beautiful years. We have none other than Steve Golden. Um, can our chair, the camera people can't get her? Yeah. Let the cameras come over. I'm going to go down to her. Yeah. Right, right. Stronger Production Limited Big Stone Records Reggae City Sports Bar presents this Lifetime Achievement Award, which is presented to Queen Mother Miriam Yasmin Samad, who was born the Garvey baby, grew up as the mother of the Dashiki, and lived her life as the unrepentant Garvey. Please give her a round of applause. Thank you very much, Steve. Point the camera right there. Queen Mother Samad. Isn't she beautiful? 92 years old. Couple of months time from now, she'll be 93. And I see top reporter in the building, Mr. Ras Bas, Basil Walters. Enough respect and honor, sir. Queen Mother Samad. Thank you very much. We have another award for you, Queen Mother. We have another award for you. And we call on stage this time, my dear friend, Constantine Bogle. Now this brother, oh, in 1865, we had the Marin Bay Rebellion. This year, we celebrate 150 years since that blessed day when Paul Bogle made that Eric move and emancipate Jamaica. He did so with pain with his own life. Constantine Bogle, let me read what is written on this. Now this plaque is special because on this plaque, I'm just gonna explain what is on there. It says Paul Bogle Foundation. Paul Bogle is etched into wood and if you remember the old time two dollar bill where all of the picnic them crowd upon of different nationality they also engrave on this beautiful beautiful award the paul bogle foundation present this 
Lifetime Achievement Award to Queen Mother Mariamne Yasmin Smart for her undying love for the teaching, principles, and opinion of Mr. Darby and earns the title as the unrepentant Garveyites. Constantine Bowler. Greetings. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I give thanks for this opportunity to present this award to Queen Mother. The fact that your name is Queen Mother in itself is an honor. And as the founder and president of the Paul Bogle Foundation and the great great grandson to Paul Bogle, I became the first person on the face of the earth to start a memorial for 500 million Africans that died as a result of slavery. So it is in the honor of the 500 million Africans that I stand tonight and present this honor, this award. And let me say something. Tonight is a very big historical day for us. See beside me here is my grandson. And it's, today is the first day I'm, 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 I'm knowing him. I'm meeting him. When I got the call from Big Stone, I said, Stone, you're putting me in problem because my son tell me how long that he's coming in and he's bringing my grandson so that I, I can meet him. So let me call him back in a few minutes. So I called my son and I explained to him and he said, Daddy, no problem. All of us will travel down here. So I have my son sitting, one of my son sitting around here. I have two of my niece also that is here on vocation. And um, like I said, my son just came in today. So we all journey down here because of our respect and our love for the Queen Mother. And let me say something about two weeks ago, as I'm not gonna take up the night, but I think it's important that I make this point. About two weeks ago, I journeyed into Kingston and I said to Big Stone, and I want all of you that is listening here tonight within the media fraternity, remember that you're speaking to the great grandson of one of the world's biggest um, liberator. Yes. And I journeyed into Kingston and I said to Big Stone, give me an interview and I, Constantine David Bogle, will bring home Bojo Banton with some records that I have to reveal and some information that I have to reveal. And I come from the East, I no miss. I come from the greatest this year at the 150 year. Look out for the interview and look out for the information where I have but the judge them where try Bujo Bantan. None of them have no integrity. Look out for the interview. None of them no have no integrity. Anytime this information come, come around, people in a problem. Remember me telling you that. So give them. Come, come, sir. Queen Mother, it is with great love from the East, from the Paul Bogle Foundation and honor that the Paul Bogle family present to you this token with love and affection and we just wish you continued love and blessing. busy thanking him. <laughs> it's a great honor, really. All these years, Paul Vogel has been one of my heart names for his great, you know, interest and love of the people. And to meet you and his great-grandson, I truly am honored. Thank you so much. 